Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have your, uh, spoilers, spoilers for the upcoming week of May 30th, 2022, the end of May. Let's get it in Sunday live stream, Tuesday live stream, end of the month. Let's go, baby. Um, but yeah, here come spoilers for all platforms. That's gonna be, like, what kingdom it is. What uh, weapons are going to be in the Soul Forge? What event troops you can get with event keys? Going to be all the events for the week. Uh, new troops, new pets, new weapons, all that stuff. So in the background is my blue Guild Wars Paragon uh, battle first. I uh, went 5-0. and Gone 5-0 and all week. Only lost one time. And it, of course it was on live stream. But anyway, let's get started with these uh, spoilers. Why can't I think of the word spoilers today? Weekly event spoilers, PC, mobile, Xbox, and PlayStation. Nintendo Switch will be second, and I'll put a timestamp in. So, come on, laptop. Quit being slow. Oh, yeah. There we go. Come on, baby. Where you at? There's not a lot of spoilers on here. It looks like they uh, are missing some. But anyway, the, what we need is here, so we're fine. All right, world event um, campaign is there, but world event is called... What? That's the one going on right now. Okay. World event is called for May 30th, 2022. The name of it is Cat Rescue. The Medal of Rage. 160% skull and spell damage for all troops in the current event. It is a Pride Lands week. I think that means um, rope dart. Rope dart. Rope dart. So if you don't have the best weapon in the game, you're going to want to get it. Tuesday, Faction Assault is Indrajit's Palace. Um, Wednesday, Pet Rescue is, um, uh, Son of Tau. Thursday, class event is Sun Spear. Sun Spear is a very good class. It's the best Firestorm class in the game. Best Red class in the game. You're going to want to get that one to 100 for Fireblade. Um, Friday, it says we have Bounty Event. Fiora, for, bleh, Flora Fawn is the new Bounty Troop from Silver Glade. It's a beast. And yeah, it's a Pride Lands week. So, to reiterate, World Event is Skull and Spell. It is uh, Hellclaw Rager, Pride Lands, Damon Raksha. Tuesday, Faction Assault, Andridge's Palace. Wednesday, Pet Rescue, Son of Tau from Pride Lands. Thursday, Class Event is Sun Spear. Friday, Bounty Event. And uh, it's Silver Glade, Flora Fawn, Beast. All right, let's get into Pride Lands and see what kind of weapons are going to be in the Soul Forge and what kind of troops you can pull with event keys next week. All right, the troops from Pride Lands. Mmm, bandit. Bandit. Um, what else do we got from Pride Lands? Sekma's okay, but nothing you're going to want to throw event keys for. Um, Ubastet, Umanath. So nothing crazy. I would skip the event keys for Pride Lands. It's nothing special, unless I'm missing something here. We got Bandit, we got Ubastet, we got Umanath, and... Um, that's about it, Sekma. So, let me look over it one more time real quick just to make sure I'm not missing something super obvious as my dog barks in the background and my daughter screams in joy. Mm, okay, nothing I can see. But uh, anyway, weapons, Axe of Chaos, Bastion of Will, Beastly Bow, Black Maid's Claw, Broken Guard, Cat's Paw, Fiery Claw, Flame Soul, Hunter's Spear, Endridge's Claw, Rope Dart, Rope Dart, Rope Dart. Shadow, Hunter's Claw, Spear of the Pride, Sun, Chakram, and Twin Claws. So, Rope Dart's the main thing out of, like, Pride Lands that you're going to want to get. It's going to be in the Soul Forge for 300 diamonds. Please get it. Um, make sure you have, like, yellow and blue jewels. I think that's what it's going to be. Yellow and blue jewels, one or the other at least. And then, um, you know, 300 diamonds. Uh, Twin Claws is also okay, but uh, make sure you get that Rope Dart. Um, Ubastet used to be good, but he's not super recommended anymore. He he used to, like, instant kill crazy. He used to be the meta with the Divine team, but no longer. They nerfed him. All right, let's check out the new troops for PC, Mobile, Xbox, PlayStation for the upcoming week of May 30th, 2022. On Monday, May 30th, 2022, from Pride Lands, we have Hellclaw Rager. I need to ask you a something. Arcane Beast, Base Rarity Epic, Troop Type Daemon Raksha, Troop Roll Assassin. Uh, it looks like a, 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 a Hellclaw Rager. Uh, it looks like a, um, a Raksha with a giant axe, uh, like a leopard. 
So pretty cool looking. Hellclaw's Fury is the spell. Deal magic plus three damage to an enemy. If they are an elemental, deal triple damage. If they die, enrage myself. Mana color green, red. Mana cost 12. Trait number one, Elemental Slayer. Deal double skull damage versus elementals. Trait number two, Bloodlust. Become enraged when enemy dies. Trait number three, Agile. 20% chance to dodge skull damage. So, in that it is the Arcane Beast Trait Stone, I could probably tell that uh, red green is going to be the, uh, I think, going to be the, the Trait Stone that comes with it in the Glory Shop. Um, on Friday, June 3rd, 2022, from Silver Glade, Flora Fawn is the troop, the bounty troop. Um, hello, my name is Bambi. You killed my mother. Prepare to die. Arcane Light, base rarity rare. Troop type beast, troop roll generator. How's a generator going to kill somebody? Child of nature, create nine green gems and enchant an ally. Mana color green, yellow, mana cost ten. That sounds like it's going to... It should be threatening people with its create green, create green gems and enchant. Uh, trait number one, Bounty Hunter. I guess that's the way it could do it. Trait number two, Inscribed. Gain one armor when an enemy casts a spell. Trait number three, Nature Link. Gain bonus green mana from green gem matches. Uh, we do have Ogress, who's green and brown. Maybe it wouldn't go... Yeah, could help her get up at least. Uh, make sure you use the Bounty Troop. Even if it's bad, because it's the bounty captain, and you get more points for using the bounty captain. Ooh, we have a new mythic baby. The Wild King. Friday, June 3rd, 2022, from Pan's Vale. The Wild King. Get your motor running. Arcane Swamp and Light. Base Rarity Mythic. Troop Type Wild Folk. Troop Roll War Master. So, he looks like a Wild Folk. That's a king. That has like a throwing star type of deal. Um, he's got his shirt off. He popped his shirt off. He's showing his nips. And he's wearing underwear. Um, Incite Fury is the spell. Enrage all allies and give them magic plus one attack. Then it create a mix of 22 skulls and yellow gems. Sounds pretty good. Sounds like Wild Queen, but, uh, you know, maybe better. Mana color blue, green, yellow. Mana cost 22. So it's a wild folk, so you could have you could 50% start it with uh, King Salinas. Uh, trait number one, wild folk bond. Trait number two, song of bones. Summon a bone storm at the start of battle. Woo! I would definitely... It looks good. Trait number three, wild cunning. All wild folk allies gain one magic when my turn begins. And that is it, but hey, a new mythic. Uh, the wild king looks pretty awesome, like the yellow version of the wild queen. And uh, definitely recommended to get on paper. All right, weapon spoilers, PC, mobile, Xbox, PlayStation. Nothing. Um, class spoilers, just, you know, covering everything here. Kingdom spoilers. Looks like we're going to have some new factions. Hellcrag, Obsidian Depths are the next two. There's no date announced yet, but hey, there's the names. Um, pet spoilers. On Monday, July 11th. That's quite a ways away. Um, Kingdom Power. Max Kingdom Power for PC, Mobile, Xbox, PlayStation. On the 30th, Pride Lance Kingdom Power goes to 23. On the on June 3rd, uh, Pan's Veil goes to 23. And Silverglade goes to 20. So I think that's really important, right? Silverglade going to 20. Isn't that the next stat? pretty sure so very notable there and it's the uh, bounty troop not the mythic so should be attainable i think maybe there's probably some hard stuff in there like two pets and whatnot but some people might be able to get another magic stat all right so that's it for pc mobile xbox playstation we have a new mythic the wild king we have a new bounty troop with a bounty event it's a pride lands week so rope dart um, make sure you get that rope dart, make sure you get that new mythic, and make sure you use the new bounty troop. Sun is also a really good class, and um, yeah, I got the world event, skull, and spell. So, like, share, subscribe, consider joining, helps a lot to hear good about the channel, comment below. Let's start Nintendo Switch's uh, spoilers. 9.45 timestamp. Alright, weekly event spoilers for Nintendo Switch. On... Monday, May 30th, 2022, 
The world event is called the Sapphire Light. Medal of Spirits, 160% spell damage for all troops in the current event. Um, Jackal the Guardian, Undead Knight, Kitar, you're having a Kitar week. Faction Assault Tuesday is Fang Moore. Pet Rescue Wednesday is Hothead. Thursday class event is Necromancer. And Friday Faction Assault is Worm Run. I think it's a new faction for y'all, Worm Run. And you're going to be getting a new mythic as well. Let's check out Kitar. What kind of weapons are in the Soul Forge? What kind of troops are in the, the event key drop table? The troops are... We have Bone Dragon. Uh, Keeper of Souls. Um, Ferris Ra, Ferris Ra, uh, and that's about it, but hey, Ferris Ra is really important for soul farming, soul farming not as hard as it used to be, Ferris Ra is not as important as it used to be, it used to be like a top three, then it fell to like a top seven, and now it's like hanging on barely maybe to the top ten, but probably not even that, but still very helpful if you're trying to soul farm, it's the best soul farming troop in the game. And it's nothing to sneeze at either, just for damage and conversion and whatnot. So, recommended to get, but not if you don't have, like, double Ironhawk. And, I mean, if you already have Dawnbringer, like, you know, it's definitely recommended. Especially if you're early in the game. But, better better ways to get souls these days with just doing the Vault event super hard. Uh, the weapons you have, Bloodthirsty Axe, Bone Shield, Creeping Death, Dead Gauntlet, Doomed Helm, Doomed Tome, Dusk Bringer, Eye of Zathenos, Capesh of Misery, Phylactery, Scrab Blade, Scythus Kitar, Tomb Lord's Crook, and Withering Touch. All of those, I think, aren't available in the Soul Forge. Maybe Withering Touch is the only one I can see. Maybe that would be okay. Um, I think Phylactery you get with Mastery, Dust Bringer you have to make, like Dawnbringer. So, maybe look out for Withering Touch, but it's not the greatest, so not a big deal. Uh, Ferris Ra is the main thing you're going to be looking for because of Kitar. Um, troop spoilers for Switch. You're going to get a new Mythic. I wonder what you're getting. Uh, Jackal the Guardian on Monday, May 30th from Kitar. A Jackal of All Trades. Arcane Spirit, Base Rarity, Epic. Troop Type Undead Knight, Troop Roll Generator. The spell is Icy Doom. Death mark a random enemy. Create 1 to 3 blue mana potions. If an enemy is frozen, there's a 50% chance to gain an extra turn. Mana color blue purple, mana cost 16. Trait number 1, Chill Touch. Inflict frozen when doing skull damage. Trait number 2, Undying. Trait number 3, Armored. 25% skull. Friday, June 3rd, 2022. Here comes your new mythic. From Divinion Fields, we have... Astral Mother. Mother knows best. Arcane Light and Plains. Base Rarity Mythic. Troop Type Divine Centaur. Troop Roll Mage. The spell is Astral Shot. Remove all gems of a chosen color. Deal magic plus 10 true scatter damage. Boosted by gems removed. Mana color green, yellow, purple. Mana cost 24. Trait number 1, Centaur Bond. Trait number 2, Impervious. Trait number 3, Pool of Stars. 40% chance to give Reflect to a random ally when my turn begins. Um, you know, Astral Mother, she's not terrible. She does true damage. She removes gems um, of a chosen color. You can kind of make things happen with that. Uh, pool of Stars. So she's like an above average mythic. Uh, if you're being super stingy, I would save your keys for something else. Um, but if you're getting every new mythic, go ahead, then there's going to be people in between, so she's nothing you can't live without, basically. Also, you guys are getting Worm Run, so you're getting the Worm Run troops for your new faction, Worm Run. Friday, June 3rd, 2022, from Worm Run, you have her Horned Worm. Horned Worm. Honk if you're a Horned Worm. Honk if you're horny. Arcane Blade, base rarity rare, troop type dragon, troop roll warrior. The spell is called Spine Whip. Deal magic plus 3 damage to an enemy. If the enemy dies, create 10 skulls on the board. Mana color blue, yellow. Mana cost 12. Trait number 1, Deep Shield. Trait number 2, Tough Scales. 30% skull. Uh, trait number 3, Bone Pile. 25% chance to convert a purple gem to a skull when my turn begins. This is where that starts coming into the game. Some people have been using like these worms with um, like Web Spinner and making a bunch of skulls. and It's kind of cool, but... Uh, I don't think it's, like, meta or something you have to do, but it's kind of neat, I would say. Some people have been putting out some neato video. 
Friday, June 3rd, 2022 from Worm Run. We also have Nether Worm off to a to off to Netherland. Arcane Beast, base rarity, ultra rare. Troop type dragon, troop roll, war master. The spell is called Void Blast. Drain up to 12 mana from an enemy, create skulls equal to the mana drained. Mana color green, red, mana cost 14. Uh, trait number one, deep vitality. Trait number two, tough scales, 30% skull. Trait number three, bone pile, once again. That 25% uh, chance to convert a purple gem to a skull when my turn begins. Uh, the epic troop is Terra Worm. He's Terra Fying. Arcane Mountain. Troop type Dragon. Troop Roll Defender. The spell is Crystal Blast. Gain magic plus one attack and armor. Boosted by skulls. Then explode three gems. I think he's one of the main troops for the pure faction. Him and the uh, legendary we're about to talk about because he's a good tank. Mana color yellow brown, mana cost 13. Trait number one is deep strength. Trait number two is stone skin, 50% skull. Trait number three, bone pile. You've heard that a couple times already. All right, the legendary troop from Worm Run is the Great Worm. Better than the not-so-great worm. Arcane Storm, base rarity legendary. Troop type dragon, troop roll mage. The spell is Shattering Screech. Deal magic plus two damage to all enemies boosted by skulls. Mana color red, yellow. Mana cost 16. Um, trait number one, deep magic. Trait number two, tough scales. 30% skull. Trait number three, bone feast. Create two skulls and my turn begins. So I think that's the dude they use. Either the Great Worm or Terror Worm for those teams that they've been doing. The Nito teams. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but yeah. For your pure faction, I think it's Terror Worm and like, three the great worms or two terror worms and two the great worms uh, i think i did it so if you look up pure faction for worm run i probably have it out there oh uh, let's see weapon spoilers for switch you should be getting something since you're getting a new faction you should get something new pet new weapon new troops friday june 3rd 2022 from dragon's claw you have dragon's talon rarity legendary weapon type jewelry weapon roll striker Mana color red, yellow. Mana cost 14. The spell is dragons. <laughs> the spell is deal magic plus three damage to the first two enemies, boosted by skulls. I hate how the spell is just called what the weapon is called. Like that screws me up. A uh, vital gain four life. Magical gain one magic. Lightning deal five scatter damage. Shielding barrier myself. Not something we use in the future, by the way. Um, none of this stuff besides like the skull thing, the terror worm, and the uh. The uh, legendary, like, those are kind of used these days with Web Spinner and doing the, the Nido Squall stuff. But other than that, Monday, June 13th is too far away. So that's your new weapon. And you should have a new pet. Um, I wish they would tell us when you're getting Elementalist. Probably when the Nexus comes in, so that's easy. Um, so, your new faction is Worm Run. Um... You're getting a new banner, a double yellow, red, minus purple banner. Um, that's all you really need to know about that. It's associated to Dragon's Claw. Uh, what else? Pet spoilers. I just clicked on the wrong one. For Switch. Alright, so you have, on Friday, June 3rd, 2022, from Dragon's Claw, you have Elliot. It's a little uh, lizard-slash-dinosaur-looking pet from Worm Run. Pet colors red, kingdom team bonus, kingdom worm run. Looks, I like that pet. Pretty cutie. Looks like um, the dinosaurs from, uh, you know, the show, the dinosaurs. Um, anyway, uh, max kingdom power for Switch. On the 30th of May, Kitar kingdom power goes to 20. On the 3rd of June, Dragon's Claw kingdom power goes to 22. Dragon's Claw Kingdom Power goes to 22 on the 3rd of June. Also on June 3rd, Divinion Fields Kingdom Power goes to 18. So yeah, that's it for Switch. Uh, you're getting a new Mythic, Astral Mother. You have access to uh, Ferris Ra with Event Keys. Um, You got a new faction coming in. That's probably the most important thing, Worm Run. Um, so you can do some neato stuff. But uh, yeah, that's it for uh, today. Like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your good about the channel. Comment below. See y'all on Sunday for the live stream. Choir practice uh, early in the morning. 
And, um, you know, Monday for the weekly preview. Peace.